because I used a very premium shampoo and conditioner on her, uh, it allows her to dry faster because she's nice and clean and well conditioned. Uh, as well as I also did a lot of towel drying on her to um, eliminate some of the excess drying time. But the more quality products that you use, the less time you're going to spend doing drying and dematting and even your clippering and your scissoring. It helps you to set that coat up properly. On that chest area, she's got more coat. So I'm pulling the dryer back just a little bit so that I don't get it, uh, get any whip knots, which would be caused by longer coat whipping around and causing mats or knots. Uh, you oftentimes will see that with long coated dogs like Shih Tzus or Yorkies or something like that. But even on a dog like this, um, you, can, you can get whip knots if you have the dryer too close. And she's got some tangles up underneath that area in her lower chest and belly area. So I've been trying to work those out. You'll see I'm moving the dryer back and forth to try to work those mats out. You still want to keep the dryer as close as you can to separate everything and to straighten and get the skin dry. But again, you want to make sure that you're not too close so that you're causing that hair to whip around. If you notice that the, dry, or the hair is starting to whip around and get tangly on the ends, then you need to pull the dryer back a little bit so that it doesn't cause that. 